Good evening and welcome to another edition of Plastic Models by Regular Dude. And here is part three of the Weasel build. So, um, where I left off, I had uh, primed slash painted everything. Um, I got this, the uh, cover for the muffler, the guard, heat shield, whatever you want to call it. I uh, got that painted. Uh, and finished. I just used some uh, brass, um, leftover brass um, from Photo Etch Fret and uh, trim that up and use that for the end, the end pieces. So that's painted. Uh, I am getting ready to start with the weathering and I'm going to weather this part underneath here first um, just because I need to put the tracks I, I need to get underneath behind the uh, wheels and stuff I need to get behind there with some mud goop gunk get that weathered that way I can put the tracks on and then put the uh, the side covers on then I can continue weathering the rest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, do some detail painting on the uh, tires and I'm not going to be real careful with it because you know it's going to be covered in dirt and stuff and you can't really see much of the tires once you get the uh, the side fenders on, side skirts. So I'm going to paint those, get those ready. Then I will start slopping on some mud and then uh, take a look and see where I am at that point. And real quick, like before I get uh, before I get going on this, the products I'm going to use I'm going to use the Vallejo pigments, and I'm using European Earth. And I'm hoping it doesn't come out too red. Um, if it does look too reddish, then I'll I'll tone it down with uh, something else. But I'm using this and then I'm going to use up the remainder of my small uh, bottle of pigment binder and then I have a large bottle of the Vallejo pigment binder to uh, fix that to the to the model. So that's what I'm going to be using for this so I'll get back with you here in a minute. So I left off with the um, getting ready to do the uh, pigments, do some mud effects and stuff like that on the tracks and uh, I got a little carried away so I did that and uh, I pretty much got the whole thing done. So here's the weasel in its completed glory. Um, <clears throat> You can see a little bit of uh, white right in here. That is from the uh, base material on a base I am making for this. Um, so I'm just leaving it right now until I get it on the base, and then I'll, you know, I'll patch that up with some uh, some more of the pigments to, you know, simulate the mud tied into the base. But anyway, the kit itself is done. Um, I used. As you can see here, I've got a little man driving it. Uh, this is a stock figure from the kit, and they are rudimentary at best. But it's the only thing I had to drive, and I didn't want to just leave it just a vehicle. So I did the dude here, and uh, you know my figure painting, my figure painting skills are not the best, but it'll work. I mean, this was an exercise and a nostalgia build. So, um, you know, he did turn out okay, though. Uh, better than I anticipated, especially considering the quality of the figure. Uh, you know, these these old these old monogram figures are pretty pretty crude, but he works and it gives it a bit of scale and um, I guess a little bit of interest uh, to the vehicle. So it is done. Uh, <clears throat> I've pretty much discussed all of the uh, modifications I made <clears throat> in the front here. 
I added a uh, a rope. Um, again, once I get it on the base, I'm going to be dulling. It's kind of shiny right here from the adhesive I used to get it, keep it coiled. I'm going to be putting a flat coat on it, so that'll that'll take care of that. Um, I added the rope. Um, other modifications, I thinned out the um, framework of the lights. Uh, I put the handles. Uh, these handles I replaced the kit version they were just molded on so I cut those off and put those on um, built another muffler and the uh, heat shield for that I uh, used a different back deck which had molded on tools so <clears throat> I scratch built the, the back deck and the rudders and controls um, used a spare shovel from another kit um, let's see, well, that's pretty much it for the modifications. I use a different antenna base, so I have to put the actual antenna on it, but I do have the base on here. Um, then I did muddy it up, as I said I was going to. Um, and that European Earth, uh, it just, it, it really comes out red, weird red color, and I didn't, didn't really care for it, so... I ended up using, uh, let's see, I ended up using Light Sienna uh, and went over it again and then used that for the rest of my mud effects. Um, I, to me it just comes out to be a better a better color, I mean uh, maybe European Earth that reddish color is the way it is in some parts of Europe I don't know I've never seen anything like that to me it reminds me more, more of a Vietnam mud color but uh, I didn't like it so I redid it and that's what I'll be incorporating into my base when I get that completed but anyway um, got the whole thing finished uh, some reviews I'd read about this that other people had done a similar uh, project that the tracks were too short and which really isn't that big of a deal because you know you only you can only see them up to here and here but these were the perfect length so I guess I lucked out and didn't have any you know maybe it didn't suffer any extremes of temperature to you know expand and contract the uh, the vinyl but it came out okay um, you know and the, the the tracks are very basic there's no in, interior detail at all um, there is detail on here but you know once you get the mud on it you can't you can't see all the lack of detail anyway um, but you know that's basically it um, I hope that uh, anybody that's been following this has found it entertaining or interesting or useful in some way but this was mainly as I said from the get-go this was a kid I wanted when I was younger and I never could find it so I finally got it and uh, um, decided I'd you know go a little bit extra mile I mean there's more there's a lot more I could have done but you know I just took the glaring problems and, and tried to fix those best I could and uh, you know it's kind of an exercise in trying some scratch building for the first time in years and um, adding some detail and really seeing what I could do with a really old kit so that's pretty much it for the Weasel M29 by Monogram. It's a 1959 mold, 1970s, mid 70s packaging on this particular kit. So, anyway, that's it. The Weasel, the M29 Weasel by Monogram in 1 35th scale. So, hope you guys enjoyed this series of videos. And uh, uh, if you have any comments or questions or critiques or anything, please leave them below. As I say, I like to always learn, so if anybody have any, if anyone has any suggestions um, on future projects, I would appreciate it. So, anyway, that's it, and uh, as always, thanks for watching Plastic Models by a Regular Dude, and I will see you all on the next project.